everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today I'll be doing a budget reset for the month of October and I will also be sharing my budget priorities for the month I did a budget priority setup for the first time in September and I feel like that was quite helpful in letting me focus on what was important and what category of budget could be halted for a while so I'm continuing with this for the month of October as well this month I have six things that I'm focusing on. So the first priority that I have is to allocate 5% of my income into PPF. I had five financial goals this year, out of which three have been completed and now I'm working on my fourth financial goal that is to deposit 50,000 rupees into PPF. But I had a change of heart. I sat down to reassess my goals for the year and with only the last three months left for this year to end, I don't think I can deposit 50k into my PPF in this period of time. Yes, the financial year is from April to March, which means I still have time to put money into my PPF up to March 2024. But in my head, this goal that I have is for the year 2023. So I'm trying to be realistic and I don't want to end the year thinking I didn't put any money into my PPF. But I also know that 50k is an impossible task for me right now with the income that I make. So I'm tweaking my goal a little and instead of putting 50k, I am doing this change. And this way I will be able to allocate some money into my PPF. My second priority for October is start extra debt payment for my SBI personal loan. I took out a personal loan from SBI and I'm paying a monthly EMI of 13,615 each month. I cannot increase the EMI money because my income is inconsistent. Apart from my salary which is consistent, the other two income that I have is not consistent. If I get an increment, that's another thing. But from what I'm getting right now, from the income that I have right now, it's not possible. I went to the bank and I spoke to them and they told me that I can either increase the EMI amount or I can either pay the whole amount back and both of which are not possible for me right now. But I need to pay this off because I need to take a car loan because if you are somebody who have been following my channel or watching my videos, you'll, you'll know that almost every two months or three months I am spending a lot of money for car repairs. My car is very old. I think it's 13 years old and it keeps breaking down and I and I feel like if the value of my car is less than the amount that I'm putting into repairing my car every 2-3 months, then what's the point? And I do need the car. The, I am from Northeast India and the town that I live in, we don't have public transport. So I need a vehicle to go to my work because I go to work because I commute a lot. I go to work in the morning, I come back for lunch and then I go to work in my private setup and then I come back in the evening. So I need a car and to be very realistic, I don't have the money to buy a car directly in cash. So I will have to take out a car loan for that. But for that to happen, I want to be able to pay off at least half of the loan that I've already taken, this personal loan. This, is, this was taken for upgrading my business setup and the work is going on and if everything falls into place, we may shift into our new clinical setup in the next one or two months. I'm looking forward to that. So I'm still paying off this loan every month, but I want to pay half of it, at least a half of it, and then take a car loan. So what I'm thinking is, every month after I budget, what I used to do with my budget is, after budgeting everything, I would put money into my financial goal. Now what I'll do is, after I budget everything for the month, whatever remains, I'll put that money to pay as extra debt payment to this loan. So my plan is to keep that money separately in my savings account, not touch that money, and when I have a significant amount of money already saved up, I can increase the monthly EMI even without a salary raise. So that's the plan that I have for now. If I go back to the goal of 2023, as you can see, 
I had five financial goals for the year. That one is to start investing, second is to deposit 50,000 rupees into savings. This I have done. And then to pay off a personal loan of 13,200. This was the money that I took from somebody. I paid it back. And this is done. And then the fourth was to deposit 50,000 rupees into PPF. And instead of 50,000 rupees, now I'm allocating 5%. Let me correct that. So technically this is also done because from the month of October I'll be allocating 5% of my income into PPF. So then what remains is to save up money for a car down payment. For this to happen I need to pay off half of my personal loan that I took already. So that is my plan and I hope that works. And then coming to my third point, priority number three for the month of October is to budget for my birthday. Yes, October is my birthday month and I will be budgeting money for my birthday because I don't save up money for my birthday throughout the year. And I am thinking 5,000 or 6,000 rupees for a birthday. I don't have any big plans for my birthday, but I think I will do a get together with my school friends because now some of my school friends, the ones I was very close with, they have been posted back to my hometown. We have not been able to hang out a lot. So I think I'll just invite them for dinner and then spend some time together. That should do. Then my fourth priority for the month is to pay back 10,830 rupees to savings. So in September, I needed to repair my car. And in my car maintenance uh, sinking fund, I had 4,000 rupees. I thought that was going to be enough. But, let me get my calculator. I had 4,000 rupees, but the actual cost for the car repair was 13,300 rupees. Minus 4,000, which is the money that I had in my car maintenance sinking fund. I was over budget by 9,300 rupees. And this 9,300 rupees I took from my savings. So 9,300 I was over budget in car maintenance. And then for my miscellaneous category, I was over budget by 1530 rupees. So this money also I took from my savings. I would not have taken money from my savings, but it was for an important thing. So 1530 plus the 9300 for car maintenance, that adds up to 10,830 rupees. My next priority for the month is to catch up with my LIC fund. This is my life insurance and I pay my life insurance every six months that is in June and in December. Every six months I pay 14,600 or 14,500. So for that what I do is every month I set aside 2,460. But in the month of September I did not budget for my LIC because I had to budget for expenses that were more urgent and important. So in the month of October I'm thinking of trying to catch up with it budget for whatever I need to budget for in the, in the month of October and then set aside at least half of what was due in the month of September or if there is more money I can fully fund for October and also for September. So I'll be doing that. And then my sixth and the last priority for the month of October is to fully fund the family trip fund. We had a family trip that was plan for the last week of October. The goal was 10,000 rupees per person and I have already been able to save up 8,000 rupees so I am 2,000 rupees short. So I'm thinking of fully funding this family trip but there is also a chance that this trip might be cancelled or postponed because both my parents they have a platinum jubilee to attend to in their school and I don't want them to miss it because it's been such a long time and they are really excited to attend this Platinum Jubilee celebration. And the dates, they fall on the last week of October as well. So it's coinciding. But I'll see and decide if the trip gets cancelled. I'll still keep that money because I have not been taking any vacations. 
and maybe I'll use that for a small vacation or I can keep that money like that because if it gets postponed then we'll go another time. If it's if it gets postponed I won't be fully funding it but if it's still there if there's a chance that we're going then I'll be fully funding it. So these are my budget priorities for the month of October and I'm hoping that I can get done all of these. So what are your priorities for the month of October? Uh, try doing this if you're watching this video because even if you don't budget, I know a lot of people don't like to budget. I have a lot of friends who don't budget and to each their own but setting priorities is so important because it gives you something to work on. I have found this quite helpful. So if you're still here and watching and you like the video, please do press the like button and also consider subscribing. I hope to see you soon in my next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.